Hi guys and welcome back to, or welcome to, Joe's Crafty Cauldron. Um, I'm afraid I've been away for a little bit just because I've been on holiday for the last two weeks. Um, but I'm back with uh, the May unboxing of the Geek Gear World of Wizardry crate. Um, both normal and wearable. Um, as I said, I have been away for the last two weeks. So this is a slight delay because these would have arrived on around about the 24th, um, but I only got back on Friday. So it's now the 4th of June. Yep, so it's the 4th of June. Um, I've collected my parcels from the post office depot and now I'm here recording the unboxings for you. Um, so let's get started. So we've got the first one is their normal World of Wizardry box so as I said this is a geek gear box it's a monthly subscription um, that costs about 19.99 um, plus postage to wherever you are located um, you have to sign up for your subscription by the 20th of the month and it renews automatically for the following month unless you cancel it um, so the theme for this month's normal box is uh, it was chocolate frogs. This box is actually quite heavy this month, so I'm intrigued to find out what it's gonna be. Um, as I've said in previous videos, when you sign up, uh, you choose your house. Um, so you can choose to be a specific house or you can choose to be any house and you'll get sent random stuff. Um, and you also choose your t-shirt size. They've now branched out. When I first signed up, it was literally like small, medium, large, extra large, whatever for adults. And now they've started also doing the children's sizes. Um, and they're also, as well as that, they are actually doing um, children specific boxes as well. That, that I think they started trialing those last month. I don't know if it's Harry Potter specific or just geek gear, um, sort of random stuff. Um, in terms of choosing your house, you get your house coloured paper um, when you choose yours. So I am a Ravenclaw, so mine will always be blue. Um, and so any house related items will always be Ravenclaw. So let's get going and see what we got and why this box is quite heavy. I only say it's quite heavy because I've got the wearable one and that's really light. It's like there's nothing in it. Um, so as I said, chocolate frog theme and so the first item we have in here is a chocolate mould of frogs which is quite cool actually because I was the other day thinking oh it would be really good to get a chocolate mould and be able to make my own chocolate frogs and ta -da! we now have one so that's the first thing I don't know I'm so far away from my sofa today I don't know why normally I rest everything on the sofa so that's the first thing and then we have a Geek Gear exclusive mug, which has Harry on it. I'm trying to work out where the camera is, that side. So we've got Harry's face on it. So it says Geek Gear exclusive sticker on there. And his face is peering out from a bunch of Dementors. I'm gonna put that on the floor because I don't wanna risk that falling off my lap. Then we have, so the reason you put a size in is because every month you get a t-shirt. No matter what, you always get a t-shirt in this box. So the t-shirt this month is covered in winged keys. It's a light color. I'm not usually a fan of light colors for those. I don't know why, I just prefer a dark color quite nice, I like that. Then we've got a bangle thing that's got creativity, smart, clever, sharp, calm on it. So I don't know if that'll, creativity, smart, clever. I can't read that word, it's too small. Sharp and calm little rubber bracelet um so that is house specific so i assume the other ones will have 
bravery and courage and stuff on them. Okay, we then have a tin. Okay, so we've got, it looks like it's meant to be a lunchbox tin. So we've got a lunchbox tin with the Harry Potter glasses logo on it there. And it's got, has it got a little glasses? So we unclasp it. It opens up. So we've got a very nice little tin there to store things in. Might store chocolate frogs in that one. Ooh. So that's that. Then we have a notebook that again is house specific. So it's got the same sort of phrases on. It's got an eagle on it. I get very excited when they actually get the mascot right. So we've got creativity, clever, intelligence, smart, sharp, calm, individuality, curiosity, detail oriented, and exclusive on the front. And then I think it's got the same on the back. Um, so that's a notebook. And then it's got the updated Ravenclaw logos that have been created for Geek Gear on the bottom. And they say wisdom. It's quite funny that the logo inside is a raven and the front cover is correctly an eagle but we'll go with it that's always my bugbear with these things but what can you do um sorry that's this the leaflet for this month and there's something else stuck in the bottom of the box so then we've got a geek gear exclusive print which is the crossing of the lake on day one. I'm trying to work out what's being reflected in my camera. There's loads of mess that side of the camera. So you're probably enjoying that. So there we go, can we get it without reflection? No, probably not. It's just pop vinyls and DVDs in fairness, so. But yeah, so we've got the print there, an exclusive of them crossing the lake in their first year. That's quite cool, I do like that picture. So then if we look at the little brochure, so May Magazine 2017. So we've just got a thank you. So in our mailbox we have include two products which are licensed by a licensee to Warner Brothers and exclusively to us. So we've got monthly exclusive t-shirt. So grab your broomstick and try to catch the flying keys. Remember to catch the right one or the door won't open. So that's the t-shirt, which could have come in blue or grey. It's a shame it didn't come in grey. I would have preferred the grey one. Then we've got the exclusive licensed Harry Potter mug. An awesome Dementor Harry Potter mug. Licensed by Pyramid International and exclusive to us. Then we've got an exclusive, the exclusive licensed Harry Potter Hogwarts print. Licensed by Pyramid International and exclusive to us. You won't find this awesome art piece anywhere else. Then you've got the magical frog mold, and then you've got the magical lunch tin. Uh, you've got the magical house notebooks. So um, as I said, you've got the different, the four different houses in the notebook. You've then got house wristbands. Show off your house pride with these awesome house themed wristbands. You'll receive your chosen house. So Gryffindor has courage, strength, passion. Um, Hubblebub has open enthusiasm. I can't see the word before that. Uh, Ravenclaw obviously have seen. Um, Slytherin, I think, is ambition, talent, cunning. I can only see little bits of it. So those um, they've included their social media links. Um, then they're talking about comic cons that they're attending. So the MCM Comic Con in London was actually on the 26th to 28th of May, which unfortunately I couldn't go to um, because I was on holiday. I was flying back from Gran Canaria. So, and then we've got, we're proud to announce the first hint for our World of Wizardry June box, which is the all famous lightning strike from the chosen one. And then we've got, um, pictures of um, people who have won prizes. Um, so the prize for this month 
was a pop vinyl. I really wanted this. Was a pop vinyl of Dougal, the Demi guys, but in his invisible form. So he is meant to be invisible in that one. And they're dispatched separately. And again, I didn't win it, so I have no extra parcel, which is fun. I would have liked that one then. That would have been quite a good one to have received. So that is the normal box. Now I just try and fit it all back in. I really need to invest in some sort of table to sit next to when I do these because it's a little bit annoying, probably for me and for you when I'm doing this, but anywho, right, try and fit that all back in. So that is the normal box there. So then next up we have the wearable. So this box is the same price as the normal one. Um, the difference is it's um, for things you would wear. Hats, scarves, t-shirts, jumpers, necklaces, those sort of things. Um, I did actually read somewhere the other week that these will be, un so I alluded to in the past, in I think two videos ago, I suggested that probably there wouldn't be any sort of duplicate items in one box to another, just because they're aware that people may be getting both boxes. Um, and so I did read somewhere that they kind of confirmed in something, I can't remember what, but they confirmed that there wouldn't be duplicate things in the boxes, basically, which is good to know, um, because that would be a bit of a pain. It wouldn't really be a pain. I've kind of talked about this before when talking about going for the lucky mystery boxes. So what they, every so often what they do is um, to clear out old stock of the boxes of maybe items that have been left over where they've not used all of their um, stock. They, every so often they do like a sort of spur of the moment mystery lucky box basically. Um, and in these lucky boxes, they will put a random selection from past boxes. Um, this is non-house specific, so you can't, you literally, what you do is you select your t-shirt size and that's it, I believe. I don't think they do house specific ones because it's just whatever they have left over. Um, and so it could be anything from any of the previous boxes. And I've done it before quite early on, I got one. Um, but I actually, the problem I had was I'd literally been subscribing since like the third box. So the only box, so they've been running actually for over a year now. It would have been a year in March, um, because I missed their April and May, April and May boxes. I think it was like their April and May boxes or March. No, that was it. March and April. I missed their March and April boxes and I started subscribing in the May. So I was only actually missing two boxes worth and this was about maybe four or five boxes in so I ordered a mystery box and kind of there was a note section that I said I would like to have Ravenclaw items and that preferably from boxes one and two um, because I wasn't subscribed back then um, and so I think on the whole I pretty much just got duplicates of the boxes I had I maybe had one or two things that were unique and obviously had come from the first two boxes, but it was pretty slim. So I think lucky dip boxes are good if you're maybe buying it for someone else as a surprise because they are cheaper than the regular box. Um, or if you just want to get a lucky dip box, see what you get and then maybe use it as like you can then separate it up and gift it to other people, which is probably what I would do with the one I got, purely because I got so many duplicate things of things I already had. Um, and so, yeah, I will, I would use them. So I, I won't personally do it again, unless I specifically thought, oh yeah, I'll get a lucky dip one for someone else. Um, but that's just my choice every so often they do it so I know that in the last week I did have an email come through that basically said first come first serve they're doing 500 mystery boxes 
sort of whoever gets in there. They've possibly even, by the sound of it, they've probably also already boxed up these boxes. Um, and it just happens that if you get in there, you get given one, any one, with no choice over the matter. But, so, anyway, back to the current thing. Again, Ravenclaw blue. So as I said, this is anything wearable. So the first thing is we have a Ravenclaw bow tie pin. That's quite cute actually. Um, again, my normal bugbear, it's blue and silver. We're not blue and silver. Slytherin is silver. We are bronze. Which I've reread the first book the other day actually and realised that it was bronze for the colour of the eagle. That's why we are bronze. I hadn't ever thought about that before. I was just like, we are just bronze with no context. But no, it's because bronze is the colour of the eagle. So that is the wrong colour, but it's still nice. I do like, I have complained, but I do like silver and blue. So <laughs> it's not that big a problem. It's just the fact that obviously I go by the book. The book is law, not the film. Um, then we've got a box to the chosen one. Oh, I forgot to say, the hint for this box was snitch. So there were two pictures of snitches in the last box. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's obviously not snitch, that's house. Um, this says to the chosen one, our post. And in it we have something small and wrapped up. Is it going to be a snitch? Is that the extent of the theme? Because obviously in the last one, the theme was chocolate frogs and there was one chocolate frog item. Ooh. Okay, so it is a necklace. I think, oh, I'm attached, I'm attached to everything. So it's a necklace, which is like, I think, a pocket watch. Spin, spin. So it's got two wings on it. I think it's because it's moving, it's having trouble coming into focus a little bit. That, and you can obviously see my face. Um, so I think it's a little pocket watch, if I can... Oh, there we go. I had it held the wrong way. So yeah, so it's a little... So it's a little, like, antique pocket watch of the snitch. So there we go. There's our snitch theme. I'm going to try and now just quickly rewrap this. That's as good as it's gonna get. It's just gonna be screwed up back in there. I don't do neat when reloading. Oof, there we go. So we've got that. Then, oh, we're obviously going on a rubber bands theme this month because we've got another rubber band which is black and it says wisdom, loyalty, ambition and courage so let's, where's the first one so the first one was actually courage but I read the Ravenclaw one first courage, wisdom which you can't really see on the black I'm trying to catch it in the light, there we go loyalty, it's the Hufflepuff and then we've got ambition for Slytherin ok so then we appear to have two t-shirts this month and they're both black which makes me happy so, we've got this one which says Amortentia, the most powerful love potion in the world. There. So that's just a t-shirt. And then we have another, is this a t-shirt? Yes, it is a t-shirt. So then this says Expecto Patronum, and it's got a picture of Harry defending himself against the Dementors from the third book. OK, 
Okay, and then there's again the usual Ravenclaw sheet of paper in the bottom that's, I don't think it is anything because I've had it three times now. So we've got the May magazine. Again, a thank you. So the list of the things that came in it is the Amortentia t-shirt, the Expecto t-shirt, then we've got the pocket watch, the house wristband, the house bow ties, their social media links, the prize of the Demi guys. Then we've got photos of uh, some of the winners. Details about the Comic Con that they're doing. So they're doing London, Scotland, Glasgow, Aberdeen, and then London again in October. And then we've got the hint for the June box will include an awesome house related item which you won't want to miss. So we shall see what that is. I don't know why that leaflet felt really dusty. So those are the wearable for this month. Try and box them back up nicely. So those are the wearable. Um, so those are both those boxes. Um, also this month I have received my the latest Loot Crate, um, which I will have a separate video on that. Um, and so I will cover that separately. Um, so the only other thing that I was gonna go through on this video is that I have been doing quite a lot of um, Harry Potter visits and got a lot of Harry Potter souvenirs. Uh, recently. So if you give me two seconds, I will be right back with all of that stuff. And we're back. So um, in the last month, I went to, I saw Ed Sheeran um, at the O2 at the beginning of May. And so as we were up in London, we thought we'd kind of two birds, one stone because I'd never visited and we went to the house of me in Lima, uh, which is on Greek Street. And so these are the two people who did the graphic design on all of the Harry Potter films. Um, and also more recently, the Fantastic Beasts films. Uh, and so what they have there is it's a four story house, I think, where basically the ground floor is a gift shop. And then you've got three floors of basically, two floors I think of Harry Potter and then a floor of Fantastic Beasts. And I'm fairly certain there was also a floor of kind of their own non-Harry Potter graphic work um, there. But I can't actually remember seeing it. So that's a bit odd. Um, but anyway, so basically I went there and let me try and dig out the things that I've got from there. So we have a bag from the house of Mina Lima. I was like, oh yes, of course I'll have a bag because then it will have the stuff on it. So they do a lot of postcards in there. So they do lots of different types of postcards. Um, it's a pack of 20, which includes so 10 designs, two of each design. So I went with one of my friends um, and so quite handily we decided basically we'd buy the packs of postcards that we liked and then it was great because we could split the cost and we'd each have half of the pack. So we had 10, one of each design and so that's great. So we've got the first one is postcards of all of the um, educational decree proclamations. Um, so the ones included are number 12, which is Hogwarts School will be subject to informal scrutiny by an appointed ministry member. Number 23, Dolores Jane Umbridge has been appointed to the post of Hogwarts High Inquisitor. Number 31, which is boys and girls are not permitted to be within eight. Each individual each other. We've got number 35, which is any items deemed not for educational value are hateful banned. Number 47, which students must consent to have their post checked for any new contraband. 49, all Quidditch matches are hereby cancelled. Broomsticks will be turned into the High Inquisitor for safekeeping. Uh, number 68, which is all student organisations are hateful to standard. Any student in the Northern Lights will be expelled. Number 82, all students will submit to questioning about suspects alleged to be hateful to standard. Number 83, which is all students are hereby cancelled. Broomsticks will be turned into the High Inquisitor for safekeeping. Number 84, all students must consent to have their post checked for any new contraband. Number 85, any literature by non-wizard or 
breeds is banned forthwith. And then finally, number 98, which is those wishing to join the Inquisitor squad for extra credit may sign up in the High Inquisitor's office. So you've got 10 there, which you probably can't see. But that's fine, because I've just read them out to you. Um, so that is the first thing. Then the next lot of postcards that we bought is, it's called the Hogwarts series. So, got Hogwarts on the front there. Got the Hogwarts series there. I don't know if you can see those. So these are based on mainly the books. So we've got the Tales of Beedle the Bard, Dark Arts Defense Basics for Beginners, Hogwarts History, Magical Water Plants of the Mediterranean, Advanced Potion Making, one version, Advanced Potion Making, another version, Rune Dictionary, Secrets of the Darkest Art, Triwizard Tragedies, and then Unfogging the Future. So again, I had 10, my friend had 10. And then the last set of postcards I bought was another Hogwarts series, um, but these were kind of more random than the last one. So you've got Defence Against the Dark Arts book, then you've got the Trios exercise books, you've got the Fantastic Beasts book, then you've got your Hogwarts acceptance letter and the envelope address, then you've got the Marauders map, Gilderoy Lockhart travels with Trolls cover and then Yule Ball, some sort of, I don't know if it's meant to be a ticket or like the flyer maybe. So those were three lots of postcards that, as I said, we split them up. So it's worth going, I think they were 14, were they 14 pounds? But they have them on deals. They have like buy two of them and you get them for less, buy three of them and you get them for less again. And so what was great was that we basically, because it was the two of us, we just thought, well, let's buy them and then we can split them. Um... Those. Sorry, I've got plastic wrap in here from where I opened the postcards, so they're all sealed. But they have like demo versions that are open, so you can look at all the postcards. Then I got a Ravenclaw travel card holder, so I'm going to put my oyster into that uh, for when I go up to London. Then I got, so they have note cards. So I got a Ravenclaw note card. They've got various ones of these. They've got some note cards which are duplicates of the postcards and things like that. It's a lot of prints, but they've also got like the big prints, but I was like, no, I can't justify spending them because the thing is there's so many to choose from that I was like, on a spur of the moment thing, I wouldn't know which one would be my favorite. And I was a bit like, I don't want to spend that much on a whim. I'd want to think about like really hard about which one I would actually want. So then we've got, I don't know why this has got a funny colour, maybe it's just different colour kind of like. Got a Ravenclaw um, badge. And then I bought a House of Mina Lima 2017 badge. So I assume they release one of those each year. Um, what else have got? So that's all of the kind of Harry Potter stuff. That we got from there. Let me show you. Oh, I've just dropped something. Let me just straighten out the bag and then I can show you the carrier bag a bit better. So, where do you normally pay 5p for a carrier bag? They don't charge for their carrier bags. So, I was like, yeah, shove it in. So, they're based at 26 Greek Street. What did I drop on the floor? Um, so, we've got House of Mina Lima. It was just the little flyer from outside, just advertising the whole exhibition. What did, oh, they also had in there a pamphlet of going to see the Harry Potter studio tour, which I actually, I went and saw Mina Lima on the Wednesday and I then went to the Harry Potter studio tour on the Friday. So the, the last thing I got from there was basically Mina Lima has done the graphic design work on three books, which is The Beauty and the Beast, uh, Treasure Island possibly, and then The Jungle Book. So basically th this is not the Disney version, this is the traditional version of Beauty and the Beast. So 
um, they've basically done the graphic design on these um, versions, um, the illustrations, and there, there's like extra interactive like fold out elements to it. So like, th oh, this goes that way. Um, so things like that in there. And also, so I went up to the counter and I did just pick up a sealed version, but what they actually had behind the counter was they had signed versions. So I've got a signed version which has been um, signed. Uh, so that was everything that I got from the uh, house of Mina Lima um, there. So then, as I said, I then, that was the Wednesday, and then on the Friday, I went to the Harry Potter studio tour. And I went a little bit crazy. I bought lots and lots of stuff. Well, not actually that much stuff. I bought less than I bought last time, so we're doing well. Um, but this is only actually the second time I've been, but it was a, so it was a special night that was arranged for a group on. Um, which is basically, you pay only a little bit extra than the normal cost of the ticket, um, if you went any other day. Um, and the extras you got were you got uh, the the new, so because they've now opened the Forbidden Forest, you now get the new Forbidden Forest um, version of the guidebook. So you get that, and that's worth about a tenner. Um, you, it was late night entry, so we were there till midnight. Uh, included, you got um, sort of a, a snacky kind of meal from the back lot cafe that they have there. Um, do you think what else was extra? You had Death Eaters there that I don't think you normally have. Um, I'm trying to think what else was included. Can't remember. Um, so it was only a little bit extra over the normal ticket. Um, and so that was arranged actually through a Groupon deal that we went on. Um, and after I went, I did actually see that there are other offers. Like I think another one was you got um, the body double for Hagrid, he's comes to some of them, so you'll have him there, um, and things like that. Um, so basically they do a quite, I say quite a few of these, a few of them throughout the year. Oh, what else? Oh yes, another thing that gets included, you get a, um, a butterbeer included, you get a butterbeer in a souvenir mug. Um, sadly, I don't actually like butterbeer. <laughs> I like the cream that they put on the top, but not the actual butter beer. So I just sat there and ate the cream off the top and then let my friend drink the rest of the butter beer. Um, but anyway, so yes, yeah, so that was included as well. And that's normally, I can't even think how much that was. Because when I first went, I bought the souvenir tankard with the butter beer and I bought a souvenir ice cream sundae popped with the ice cream. And the ice cream, really nice. I'd go for the ice cream, like... Every time I go again, I'm going to get the ice cream rather than the butter beer. Um, but yeah, so I can't remember how much I paid that time. But I actually already had it. So my one is actually going to a friend um, who couldn't actually come on the day. So uh, other than that, the other things I bought was... I bought the Hogwarts Express tote bag. I bought the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them tote bag, which has Newt Scamander on it there, and on the back it says, you've got Fantastic Beasts. Um, I've got everything stored in the, the Making of Harry Potter Forbidden Forest bag, so I'll show you that in a second once I've cleared everything out. Um, so... We have, there are several, these are photos, I won't show you those because I won't want to embarrass myself and my friends who were in them as well. Um, they have several photo opportunities in there. We took photos of us. You can pretend you're in the Hogwarts Express carriage and you can act out, acting with the Dementors appearing at the window and what have you. Um, sorry, spoilers. Um, and so you can have your photos taken there. You can also fly a broom. Um, so there's a couple of photo opportunities, but we just did the um, Hogwarts Express carriage. So I got two photos that were taken there. Uh, then this is the new edition souvenir guide, including Forbidden Forest. Um, and this is actually signed 
Um, so again, this was a um, special that was included because it was a special night. Um, you had the guy who, I've forgotten his name, John something off the top of my head, I can't remember it. Um, and I can't read his signature other than John. Um, <laughs> he he was basically there and he was running the special effects of the, the um, Chamber of Secrets door. So the door where the snake goes round and all the snakes come out. He was actually there running that. And he's, so basically he's like really senior in the whole special effects thing um, and things like that. So he was sat there and he was signing books and then he was, um, every so often he was activating the snake lock, which um, when you talk to members of staff there, they're kind of like, it's never running. They never normally have that running. It's literally just for this event. Um, what they also had, which they didn't have when I last went, was Privet Drive was open. So when I last went, the door was shut. You could just see the outside. This time we went and the door was open. So at the time, I wasn't sure if that was like, a, again, another special element that was just part of this evening or whether that was sort of like, that's now a new thing that they're opening Privet Drive. I did actually see something the other day, which does suggest it is now a permanent thing that Privet Drive will be open. And so you can actually go in, you can look, there's a barrier, but you can look in the lounge um, and you see all the letters sort of, they're all flying around and everything like that um, there. Then I got some wands. I got two more wands. So I've already got two wands. I've got Sirius's and Hermione's wand. Um, and so this time I got Neville's wand. I love Neville. So I got Neville's wand, which I won't show you. Um, and then I got a Fantastic Beasts wand, which is Queenie's. So I got Queenie's. So Queenie. So I've got Queenie's one. I'll open, actually, I will open them. Right, we'll open Queenie's first. So the Fantastic Beasts ones are very fancy. So you've got sort of this organza. Is it called organza? I don't know. So covering it. And so then you've got Queenie's wand. Has a really nice sort of shell. There we go. She's got a shell on her wand. So that's Queenie's wand. So let me rewrap it. Um, the Fantastic Beasts ones are slightly more expensive than the normal ones um they have actually recently well i don't know how recently i went in september last year and then i've gone obviously in may yeah may this year um and so the one prices have gone up a little bit because so this is neville's so when we went in september the ones were about 25.99 i think maybe 26 but now they're kind of up at 29 and Fantastic Beasts are about 30 I think um, so then the other thing I got I got another chocolate frog I say another chocolate frog I got a chocolate frog when I went in September as well I've not yet eaten it but it's got quite a good best before date so I think I have till August to eat last year's and then this one is till April next year so I got a chocolate frog because I'd really like to get all of the chocolate frog cards it's going to be an expensive habit because they're like eight ninety five each, um, and then the last thing I got is I got a chocolate frog slider charm. There, so I've got a little chocolate frog on it, and a card behind it. Um, so that's what I got from there, and then so to show you the last bag, it's a just a forbidden forest special one so that was that one and then what else did I get oh so when I went on the Wednesday to Mina Lima just down the road from Mina Lima you've got Forbidden Planet I went in there and I bought it's still got the price on it it was $6.99 it's a mini pop vinyl of Hermione so it's a pop vinyl Hermione Granger keyring so I got that which I've just thrown in the box so it's fine um, so that's all for those, and then uh, as you are probably all aware, it is the 20th anniversary of the release of the Philosopher's Stone. So as part of that release, um, they've redone the covers to the Philosopher's Stone, and they've done house-specific versions of it. On Friday, 
that was released and so I pre-ordered mine however long ago and so on Friday when I got back from holiday, it's great, I arrived and there on my doorstep was the books. Um, there are two versions and because I'm a child, I bought both. Um, so they've got both a paperback and a hardback version. So you've got the paperback version in obviously Ravenclaw so it's I'm very happy about this because that my friends is an eagle and this is bronze bronze and blue bronze and blue very happy about that so you've got 20 years of Harry Potter magic and so the spine is all blue obviously inside it's white but it's blue on the spine and then you've got um, Rowena Ravenclaw on the back Oh no, sorry, that's Helena Ravenclaw. I've just read because it says the Grey Lady. So that's meant to be the Grey Lady. There. And I assume that each edition is specific because on the back it says, or yet in wise old Ravenclaw, if you've a ready mind, where those of wit and learning will always find their kind. So it says, this Ravenclaw edition is published to celebrate the 20th anniversary of first publication of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone with lots of extra content that is sure to excite every witch and wizard. Ooh, I'm wondering what the extra content is. Oh, I didn't look at this yesterday. There's illustrations. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, sorry, a little bit more excited. So it's got some background info oh it's got a map sorry i'm ruining this for everyone i'm going to stop in a minute oh love it i've only just read well i say read i've only just listened to philosopher's stone on audible I may have to read it again so it's got extra things in it uh, at the back as well the sorting Hogwarts quiz memorable move and course students I'm going to stop ruining it for all of you. So obviously this is going to be specific for each of the houses. Really tempted to buy the other ones as well. It's so bad. Even though I'm not in those houses, it's a bit like it would be quite nice to have the whole set. But I'll probably wait for a bit because I kind of, I don't want to take it away from people who are actually in those houses. Um, so then you've got the hardback version is black with blue on You've got the grey lady on the back again um, and then the spine is the bronze and the blue of the house colours um, on those and I assume it is basically exactly the same. I just love it. So yes, I went a little bit crazy and I did buy both of those so this one the RRP for the paperback is $7.99 and the RRP for the hardback is not on the back cover $14.99 I don't think I paid that much for it though um, I bought mine off of Amazon um, so yes so that is all from me that's all my purchases that's the unboxing uh, for the World of Wizardry by Geek Gear. Um, this is a very long video and I'm very sorry about that. Hopefully next month I, I lie. I'm going to the Harry Potter studio again this month so next month I probably will have bought more stuff and I'll show you that. But hopefully it will be shorter than this month because I am just doing the Harry Potter studio tour and that is all. I'm not doing anything else extra. So hopefully shorter next month. I'd say I promise. I hope. So... Anyway, that is all from me. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Um, again, sorry if it's a bit long. Uh, if you did enjoy it, uh, subscribe uh, and like this video. And I will see you next month for the June unboxing. I'll see you later. Bye.